Hi everyone and thank you for joining us on our weekly video update about what's happening right here at your state capitol. My name is Brian Nieves. I'm the senator from Missouri's 26th senatorial district. That's all of Franklin County, all of Warren County, and western St. Louis County. Uh, last week we talked a little bit about protecting the Second Amendment rights of all of our Missouri citizens so that regardless of the town or municipality in which a person lives, they would have equal access and equal treatment under our Second Amendment. This week, I want to talk to you a little bit about what's happening here at the Capitol in terms of access for members of our handicapped community to the state capitol. You see, here in Missouri, we have an unfortunate situation, and that is, it is very difficult for members of our handicapped community to come and visit with their representatives and senators. It's very difficult for these people to come and have a voice with their state government. Now, what I've done is I've studied the, the outlay of our Capitol campus over the last 10 years, and it's become increasingly obvious to me that the way the handicap parking was done at our state capitol is just absolutely wrong. In fact, each day when I come to our state capitol and I come in here to my office, uh, this is what I overlook. I overlook a situation where we have very little handicap parking and the handicap parking that we do have is done all wrong. Most of our handicap parking is done in such a way that people would have to get out of their cars in a parallel parked situation and get out into traffic while they're trying to maneuver a wheelchair or a walker or whatever the case may be. Now this has always been bad, but recently I was personally visited by a real war hero, a genuine real war hero, a gentleman that has been awarded the Silver Star two times, the Bronze Star six times, each of which had the V for Valor device. This gentleman is a true American battle hero. And when he came to visit the state capitol, he experienced the same situation that many of our folks that need a handicapped parking space encounter, and that is there was simply no place for him to park. Unfortunately, the people that have the premium reserve parking spaces right now are people that most people who work in this building are not, uh, are not very excited about having an encounter with, and that is members of the press. Members of the press currently have premium reserved parking at our state capitol, which would generally be okay, but not when it is at the expense of easy access for our handicapped community and specifically people who have served this great nation and become disabled in the service of this great nation. So I have filed Senate Bill 694 to correct that problem. Senate Bill 694 simply says that we are not going to continue to have this parking debacle at our state capitol and will fix the problem that we have with handicapped access. I hope that you'll join with me in support of Senate Bill 694 and, uh, and tell other people to do the same. I want to thank you for being with us this week. This one was a little longer than usual, but, uh, but it is a bit of an unusual subject. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next week.